Here we have the Blue Evolution S Plus. It's the 110 version of our steam vacuum commercial grade. Um, it has three functions on it. It has steam, extraction, hot water extraction, and it has a vacuum function. So first thing we're gonna do, you've got three areas up here. This far left right here is your boiler cap, don't touch. This right here is your steam tank. Second one is your extraction tank, which is actually your hot water tank. So what you do, just take it and you fill each tank. Each tank, it's a reservoir tank, each tank fills up to a half gallon of water. So what I do, I go get a gallon of water. It can be tap water, it does not have to be distilled water. I fill it up and then I come and fill each tank up to get started. And just pour it in right there, let it do its thing. Put the cap back on, each cap. That part is ready to go. Areas up here, this far left right here is your boiler cap, don't touch. This right here, is your steam tank. Second one is your extraction tank, which is actually your hot water tank. So what you do, just take it and you fill each tank. Each tank, it's a reservoir tank, each tank fills up to a half gallon of water. So what I do, I go get a gallon of water. It can be tap water, it does not have to be distilled water. I fill it up and then I come and fill each tank up to get started. And just pour it in right there, let it do its thing. Put the cap back on, each cap. That part is ready to go. This is our vacuum collection tank back here. You can see right here, it's got a water line. So every time you start out, you want clean water in this. This is what's gonna clean out. It's got all the dirty water is gonna go in here and the water is actually gonna be your filter. So always start with clean water, fill to this line, put the lid on, you're gonna kind of fill it, pop into place right here. Yeah, it's not quite on yet. You kind of have to lift, pop in, it's locked into place. Two handles out. And clip in. Evolution comes with it's roughly a, a 10 foot cord. You can use an extension cord. If you can get away with not using it, it's better. It allows more power to get the machine. It takes a lot of amperage to run this thing. So if you can get away without an extension cord, do it. If you have to have an extension cord, always use a 12 gauge, no longer than 25 foot. And remember, it's going to take a little longer to heat up or just keep up with you. So you just need to slow yourself down if you use an extension cord. You plug it in, make sure it's the only device plugged into the wall outlet. Once the Blue Evolution is plugged in, you come over here and you push the power button. It's going to turn itself on. Now if you'll notice, this one's heating up very rapidly. It takes 10 minutes for this to heat up. You'll see it is going to sit here at 66 degrees when you get yours, when you first turn it on. It's going to sit there at 66 for about 7-8 minutes and all of a sudden the temperature is going to shoot up. What I tell everybody is, look, when it gets about 310, anything about 300, it's time to start getting ready to work. That means the boiler's hot, it's working. You can see right here, it's running between six and eight bars. Our top. This one right here is your boiler indicator. Right now it's solid, that means the boiler's hot. Once you start working and why it's heating up, this will flash, that's okay. Especially when you're working, that means the boiler's doing its thing, what's supposed to be doing. Up here, here's your function lights right here. So right now, if everybody sees this number two, okay, that is your medium steam. As you push this button down right here, you'll see it jumps to three. Hold it down again. It jumps down to one. One is low, two is medium, three is high. If possible, always run this thing on two. You always wanna have steam pressure on two, your vacuum always needs to be on two, and your extraction always needs to be on two. Those are all medium settings based off our power sources here in the US that allows it to keep up. Hold this button down and you will see Oops. Here's your vacuum. That's an orange light. That's your medium setting. That's your component. Red is high. Medium. Low. You can hear the vacuum in the background. So again, try to keep it in orange, keep it on a medium setting. The last button right here is your extractor, your hot water injection button. If you hold this down over here, you're going to see it on your screen pop up. That's actually a medium high, low. Again, try to keep everything on medium. Three functions, steam, extraction, and vacuum can be operated right from the hose handle. So right here to get steam out, all you gotta do, push the gray trigger, and always hold it over like a trash can, a sink, or something, because the line's always gonna purge a little bit. You're gonna run out the water, and then your steam's gonna come out. That's your steam function. Your vacuum function is right here. So to turn your vacuum on, push down and you'll hear the vacuum come on. If it does not come on, go back and check your connection at the machine. The hose is probably not plugged in tightly. So to turn the vacuum on, right here, push again to turn off. Your extraction, or hot water function, is this little button right here in the front. When you 
squeeze and hold it, that light will come on. That tells you that the extraction is activated. And when you squeeze the trigger, you're gonna hear the machine. You're gonna hear the pump on the machine. It's gonna sound different. And it's gonna start shooting water and steam at the same time. Okay, now we're gonna work on our cleaning attachments. I'm gonna give you a kind of a brief rundown of what I think cleans better than others. With different, depends on what you're trying to clean. There's different ways to do it. These are just a few suggestions for you. So in your cleaning kit here, you have two extraction nozzles. You have a small and you have a large. Large is nine and a half, and the small is just shy of five inches long. I usually like to work on the small one. It, it seems to be a little easier to maneuver and, and clean chairs, office furniture, things like that. Um, if you're cleaning hospital curtains or windows, you can actually go to the larger one. It covers a larger surface area. So it just depends on how you're cleaning or what you're cleaning. So to add an attachment, put it right here, and you click on, you'll hear it click. To remove it, push down on the button, and remove it. All right, we're gonna start, I'm gonna show you the different brushes and attachment, how to fit on the small extraction nozzle here. So most of your cleaning, believe it or not, you don't need a brush. This surface edge right here gets it right up next to like if you're doing a chair, curtains, uh, mattresses, things like that. Do not use a brush, you can get away with it. It gives it a tighter surface area, allows that steam to penetrate deeper, and allows the vacuum to pull more water at the same time. But you have different attachments, different possibilities. You have two squeegees, you have a nylon brush, and then you also have a nylon and a squeegee. So to make them work, all you gotta do is put it on the end right here, slides right on. So this is a soft surface right here. I have a soft, I have more of kind of a, a fake leather surface as well. Um, I'll show you how to clean it. I don't use a brush. If they have spots on there, you can pull a brush out. You can actually spot clean or spot treat that area right here if you have some chemicals. You don't have to use chemicals, but if you do it, don't ever put it in the machine. Put them on the spot or the surface area and then steam over the top of them. So you can see I did a little bit here earlier, but I'll show you how this works. So if I just want to use steam only, hold the trigger down, and you're gonna see the steam come out. Now, when you do a surface, like a chair, things like that, you want it to dry quickly. So I turn the vacuum on, and you can see the steam in the vacuum at the same time. You can literally just watch that dirt. If you want to go a little deeper in your cleaner, turn on the extraction right here. Now you're going to get extra water coming out, super hot water. It's going to shoot it right next to the seam. See that right there? And that's going to get even a deeper clean. It's going to go deeper in the mattress. It's going to be a little longer to dry, but you can see how deep it cleaning gets. See that dirt coming up right here? When you get done, literally you just turn off the steam or the extraction. Use your vacuum. Vacuum all the excess water. Right here, go till it's up. This surface right here is clean. It'll probably take about 30 minutes for it to dry. This isn't real leather, but if you go over to like a waiting room chair or things like that, same concept um, as we did the... the furniture right here. Same thing. Just hold it down. Keep your vacuum on. And just clean the surface area right here. Just clean it. The hotter the better. If you want to get more of a sterile technique, like um, if it's at the waiting room, I would actually, something like this, a waiting room chair, I would turn off the extractor. I would use steam only. So now we're getting it super hot coming out. When you get done, you just use your vacuum, vacuum it up, go to the next one. Now we're going to clean a lot of high touch areas. I'm going to show you how to clean a sink, sink handles. I'm going to show you how to clean a toilet, handrails, doorknobs, anything that's considered high touch that you want to steam on. So right here, most of your cleaning is going to be done with a single one hole nozzle right here. Your brush, I'm going to show you how it fits on the end of it right here, your attachment. This right here is a vacuum suction device. So as you're cleaning, if you want to go back, if you leave a puddle, puddle of water somewhere, you can put that on right here and use the vacuum at the same time. A lot of your cleaning is going to be done with the nozzle only, the high steam. If you need to add a brush, well, you just put it right on the end of it, and we have our one inch nylon brush, and this allows us to clean the sink areas. In the bathroom here, we're going to start with the sink and the vanity area, and then we'll go to the toilet and handrails. So you can see I've got the small one on the nozzle, I've got the suction attachment, and I've got a one inch nylon brush. Attached it just like you do everything else, locks into place. I'm not going to use vacuum right away, I'm not going to use extraction because I want to sterilize this. So I'm going to use steam only, same concept, push it down, so we have steam. I can go through this whole area right here, I'm going to clean everything with a little nylon brush, I'm going to clean the sink area, get it underneath, everything, and at the end of it, 
all that steam right there is going to seal all your disinfectant. So the closer you can get that nozzle to the surface area that you're trying to clean, the better it cleans. All right, to clean the handrail, I personally, I took off the nylon brush. I'm not going to use a brush. I'm going to get as much top to bottom, side to side as I can. I'm going to get my one hole nozzle as close as I can to it because it's the hottest at the nozzle. I'm going to try to sterilize this whole handrail. So, squeeze the trigger. I'm here. I'm just going to go up and down. And get underneath. And all you gotta do is spray it on. Right here, and you'll see it'll allow you to get inside, down below, without ever having to get your hands on the toilet, which is what I like. I got steam come out. I'll go down here. Put all the areas right in here. To my top. And the lid. And to get in here, this is where it really gets a big difference. You can get underneath. All the way around, right here. we're going to talk about our doorknobs. Um, again, one hole nozzle, no brush on the end of it. I get in there, I just sterilize the whole thing. I don't even dry it when I did that. I just go room to room, I let it dry on its own. Okay, your floor mop brush, everything attaches the same way. Hose handle goes in, it separates in three areas one, two, and three. Everybody please note, this is an attachment that attaches the large floor brush to the hose handle. You get it on and off. You have to have this on there or the hose handle won't work. Slides right off, looks like this, to put it back on. Slide it in, lock it in place. Slide it in, lock it in place. To lock this in place right here, this actually adjusts. If you have one of these, not all hose handles, some of the newer ones now have this adjustable handle. Um, if you have it, you can go up and down with it and just twist to lock it in place. Now, when I do a floor, if you want to steam clean a floor, it would take a long time. But if you want to use a steam vacuum, more like you have very hot water instead of just like a floor or just like a mop, you actually turn on the extractor, which is your hot water tank right here, and you let it help clean. So now you've got super hot water coming out cleaning your floor. You can see it coming out right there. So it's going out. See that right there, now the steam's coming out. Now we've got some super hot water. There are two ways to do this. One, you can either vacuum the steam at the same time, or just pick a surface area, what I like to do. I've got about a 20 foot working radius. I go clean a five to 10 foot area at a time. I'll mop this area, and then I'll turn on the vacuum, right on the handle right here. And then I'll just pull back. Right. Area. And I'll go to the next area. I'll just work my way around the room. Empty out the vacuum collection tank and refill it with clean water. So to empty it, most of the time, depends on what's in it, just take it off, take this off, and I literally just go over to the toilet. Touch the toilet, and then I refill it. You're ready to go tomorrow.